I'm headed slowly to the cave. I'm waiting for a text from the chain man to see if he can go or not. He was, had a honeydew he was working on. He wasn't sure he could make it. That's why I'm driving slow. He, uh, he determined yesterday what the noise is in my truck. It's the, uh, not the water pump, it's the uh, pulley, the bushing, the hub, I guess you call it, the bearing hub on the air conditioner. He stuck a long probe like a screwdriver and on all the uh, different things, the, the, you know, the water pump and, the, and then he located it, narrowed it down to the uh, air conditioner hub bearing. You can stick a screwdriver on it and it'd make a terrible noise. I didn't know you could do that here right through your ear like a stethoscope. That boy is rattling. He said I could cut the fan belt off and not use the air conditioner, which I don't in the winter time. Somebody else said the same thing. <coughs> I don't know if you can buy just the hub bearing or not. I'm checking now. Well, he's checking. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Stand by for the land of the cave. Edmond Dantes. Jane Man said he's still honey doing. He'll have to meet me. Big John's already here. Low tide. I knew it would be. Hey! <laughs> here we go. John's out there. I'm going to work along here. This is about where the money clip came from the other day. The tide was up a little bit. Look at the nice rocks here. I like it. Stand by. How are you making that, Mr. John? Uh, got a two ounce weight. Yeah? And a penny. Yeah, how long you been here? About 30 minutes. That tide's nice and low, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Ah. I couldn't believe how low it was when I got here. I know it. I think I found a battleship right over there. Some big stuff out here, buddy. Holy cow. It started out, I just got a little tick. Yeah. And I cleaned it, you know, scooped yeah. off it. Okay, got good signal both ways. <laughs> took another one off. It started sounding real good. The deeper I went. <laughs> that money clip came from right there. I'll be darned. About 10 feet off the beach. I'll be darned. That little chain come about 10 feet this way outside of that. That's great. That's great. You know about, uh, well, so far we dug some wussets, two wussets, that's all. But right here we got a screechy loud 43. I'm hoping it's a mercury dime. But it may just be a dime. But it could be a cruddy penny. Come out of there, baby. Got it. Second scoop. It's a dime, but it's a damn clad dime. You see it right there? You turkey, you. Ah. Well, I dug a quarter a minute ago. And I just dug this. I don't know what it is, but it, it's got a fairly good shape, but it sounds really good. High. 47. Maybe junk. I don't know. We'll check it out later. Well, I got a sc sc screeching 45 right there. 45. There's the chain, man. He made it. Chain, man. Big John's off that other side of the cave. And now I see somebody else out there. I don't know who that is. Stand by. We'll see what this 45 is right here. I got one quarter already. I think it's... That's 46. I don't know what it is. It's a quarter. See it? Oh, green quarter. The other one was a clad for I think this is probably the same thing. Okay, stand by.
I know what you mean. As low as I've seen it a long time. How you making out? I got a nickel and penny and a couple twenty twos and some junk. I got uh, two quarters and a dime and some junk. One penny, I think. Some. I got two watsits or three watsits. Big John's on the green. I don't know who's on the outside of the cave. Well, but John was here when I first got here. Which one's John? Is that John? That's the John right there, but there was somebody right outside the cave a second yeah. ago. Yeah, there was somebody, when I got here, there was somebody was <clears throat> right on the, on the other side of it. And yeah. He came around this side now, I don't know where he's at now. I got you. That's where I'm going now. I hunted. That money clip came from right there. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I think a good spot over there on the other side where, where I found that old farmer yeah. dime, you know? Yeah. The water Big John says it's really deep over there by the cave in that hole. It's deep in there? Yeah. We're headed to the cave. See what Captain John's doing over there. John's got some buffalo and some weeds, he said. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what that is. That's all right, you can show it to me, Les. Yeah. Buffalo and, and some Wheaties, huh? Well, a couple. One real thin. Yeah. Sometimes they get like that. They get white like wafers. Yeah. <laughs> but a few targets. Yeah. Not much. Oh, dropped my treasure. Balloon or something. I saw it going by there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Still a nice day to tides, Lou. I like it. I'm going to hit it back. I might stop it. Will be for half hour or so. Okay. A cave. A cave is exposed good today. This is what we look at every day. Sometimes you can't see it, but the tide is off good today. <laughs> I can probably walk right in the cave today. Stand by. Chain man. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's small, but yeah, twelve oh two. That's a real McCoy there, buddy. Yeah, it looks like 2015, it. 2015, first Tiquito. Got some kind of stone in it. Yeah, pink stone. I don't know what they call it, I forget. That's nice. Did Big John ever, ever find anything? Found it just right, right over here. Yeah. Well, we moved on the other side of this pipe. It's a big pipe. Found by the gazebo. I got a 11... Oh, uh... 12-11. One scoop coming off. Don't sound like we got it. Oh, a nice brick. That's a little scratchy. I think whatever it is, we got it now. Can't prove it by me though. I see nothing. Except a big black looking thing. What's that? Shit? Might be a meteorite or something. See it? Let's see if that's it. Get down there, baby. Yep, that's it. That big black thing. Whatever the hell that is. Okay. This is better than a marble. Look. It says Hagen's Mag... No, Lolia Balm, B A L L M A G. I can't make out that. 
Something LIA. Macabelia bomb. Higgins. <laughs> That's a cool little ticket right there. That stuff out here I have never seen before. I've hunted this place a lot. It's unbelievable the stuff's out here today. You ought to see it. Lots and lots of rocks. All kinds of weird looking things. I don't know if you can see that or not. This looks like half a ship over here. <laughs> God damn! It's metal. It's metal too. Whole thing is metal. Look at that big chunk right there. That's a, oh, that's a center block there. I see what that is now. Ah, chain man. I'm gonna change his name to Ring Man now. 2015. He's a Ring Man. <laughs> I can't even spell Ring today. Stand by. Well, I've been looking for one of these all day. I dug a lot of targets today. I'm about 50 feet from my truck. And there it is. <laughs> a nice blue marble. Taquito. I don't see the target nowhere, but unless it's that big piece, I'll watch it right next to it. See if we can get this baby out of here now. Come out of there, Taquito. There it is. Look at it. I like it. I like it. In the pouch. My day's almost complete. Well, I got my stuff out. Get ready to wash it all off. And I happened to spy. I don't. I don't know why I didn't see it. What I pulled up. Look at that. You know what that is, don't you? It's a 920 IX. He must have sent a handle too. You know, reason for the box to be so big, unless it's got a handle in it. It's very light. So it's got to be the scoop and a handle. I wasn't expecting a handle. But that's the only thing it could be in a box this big. Is a handle. Oops, stand by a minute. Oh my. Oh my, oh me. 920 IX. I knew it was going to be nice, but I didn't know it was going to be boring on extraordinary. Look at this thing. Looks like a stealth bomber. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That baby's cool. I do a review on it later tonight or in tomorrow. The whole thing, the comparison, you know. What's nice about it is. The way it's made the top is welded to the top but these braces they come down and go through and they're welded on the outside of this piece right here that's a really nice feature right there I can tell you hmm it's welded on the bottom got supports in the back nine inches wide I don't know what the bite is I'm sure it's eight or ten inches but it's not as long as his other scoop I think it's five inches high. Mmm, stand by. I'm excited. Boy, this is a fine ticket right here. Well, it's roundup time. The cave. What's it? 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 Got a lot of what's to crack in the morning. Two times three quarters 
six meager pennies piece of a key no clue nice marble look at that baby that was a, almost the last target I dug I mean it wasn't a target I was just digging up a target and there come the marble but it's the cool marble I tell you that now I dug this bottle earlier this is a nice little bottle look at that it's Hagen's Magnolia Balm it's in perfect I won't say perfect it's got a few little knickknacks off the side of it where the cork would go inside so on the outside of it you see it I like it never seen one never even heard of Hagen's <laughs> okay might rain tomorrow one forecast is rain once is partial clean I don't know we might go oh I got a gray matter and one great big hook hooked on to it there was so much crap that I just left it all hooked together I'll get it apart tomorrow and the chain man the ring man we're gonna call him ring man for 2015 got him a nice gold ring 14k I think he said you'll see some pictures of it with a pink stone in it I mean a nice ring a little ring but nice any kind of gold is nice stand by <laughs>